Sear. Good morning. The time now is 643 and Hannah, we're enjoying a nice week this week. It's been really lovely and today is going to be fantastic. Lots of sunshine temperatures in the 40s, really abnormal for January. Let's look back at January's now. How much more snow did Cedar Rapids get in January this year compared to last year? Here are the options. Is it A, 5.3, B, 8.6 inches, C, 11.9 inches, or D, 22.0 inches? We'll think about that for a little bit, but let's first look at what our low temperatures were in the month of January. This is the low temperature difference from normal, so it takes what the low temperatures were and compares it to what we should get in January. So we actually had pretty mild low temperatures, excluding the time period between the 13th and the 21st. It was pretty mild, 14 degrees above normal on January 9th. In terms of our high temperatures, pretty much the same story. We were a little bit warm for the month of January. January. Again, excluding the cooler days, we actually had more days above normal than below normal. On our Cedar Rapids City Cam this morning, it is another mild start to the day with temperatures in the 30s. We're at 33 in Cedar Rapids, 34 in Iowa City, and 34 in Washington, with winds coming out of the west and southwest around 5 to 15 miles per hour. That being said, we do have fog highlighted on your first alert this morning because we are seeing some patchy fog mainly in our far northern counties. That's what we have on our visibility map. We actually starting to see some fog a little bit further west too in Tame at one mile, one mile in Fayette, quarter mile in Decorah, but most of eastern Iowa is having pretty good visibility. It's not too many impacts from the fog this morning. We have a mostly cloudy sky situated over eastern Iowa and that's going to be the case for the next couple of hours, but by late morning, things are going to be a little bit better. The, fo the fog, the clouds, all going to clear out L a good amount of sunshine by noon with winds coming out of the southwest. And for this afternoon, we're looking at a good amount of sunshine. Overnight tonight, we'll have a partly cloudy sky by Thursday morning, waking up to cloud cover. Today, temperatures are really, really warm. We're talking the mid to upper 40s, 45 in Fayette, 42 in Manchester, 42 in Dubuque today, 49 in Iowa City. Very warm for the last day of January. Overnight, once again, pretty mild in the 30s. 34 in Waterloo, 34 in Cedar Rapids, 35 in Washington with that partly cloudy sky. In our nine day forecast, temperatures in the 40s for the first day of February as well. That continues into Groundhog Day and this weekend's looking pretty spectacular. Partly cloudy skies with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. Overnight temperatures in the 20s and 30s and our little mini spring lasts through the beginning of next week. Now we'll take a look back at the weather-wise question. What do you guys think the answer is? I don't remember that we got a lot of snow, but how much was it? Yeah, I think we probably for sure got more this year based off the last couple of weeks. I'm going to say C, 11.9 inches. That's what I was thinking too. I'll go see. You guys are both right. We got 11.9 more inches of snow this year compared to last year. Total snow in January this year was 22 inches. So that was we, a lot. We, could, we did get a lot. That little brief period of January we actually had winter. It was actually very wintry. It was. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Anna.